Saturday, February the 17th, 2018, and I'm back down in Henley, just a couple of weeks after last being here, because I realised that uh, somewhere along the way, I didn't film book two, walk seven, by the looks of it. So uh, here we are, cracking day. It's about 10 degrees at the moment. Got about four hours of walking to do. Around about 10 miles, nine and a half, 10 miles. I'm half an hour late because uh, some idiot train driver forgot to turn up to do his shift at Paddington. And um, that means that uh, I missed my connection and now running half hour late. So it's gonna be once again, touch and go um, to get this walk completed before darkness. Didn't have to be this way, but there you go. One thing I've learned after the last decade of filming is that the railways have not improved one jot. Despite all the money going in, uh, it's got nothing to do with austerity. As always, it's to do with driver, guard, service generally mentality. It's just not up to the mark. There you go, that's the rant. Uh, the service is abysmal. They really need to go to Japan and see how it's done. Let's press on. Former Imperial Hotel. Still got the name above the door, but it doesn't look like it's still in use to me. We turn right here. Approaching the town bridge with the Angel Pub just on the left of it. Pretty sure I've done this first section of walk before, but uh, that could be the book one walk that um, I did. This is a slight variation. Church, Red Lion Hotel, onward journey straight ahead. Some kind of regatta on today. Juniors by the looks of it. View of our onward journey ahead, I believe. Walking past the Kenton Theatre, passing Henley Rugby Club. 100 metres past the rugby club, take a right down here. All that rugby puts hairs on your chest. What chance have you got against a tie and a crest? So asked Paul Weller, going underground. Now as you can see it's very wet underfoot. There's a grandstand or finish line to the Henley Regatta no doubt. What's actually happening there is uh, coaching. There's a couple of coxes in the uh, boats with them, giving instructions on how to uh, perform, basically. Now this certainly is a lesser used path, which is fantastic. Contrast that with the crowds on the other bank. Just stood on the wooden bridge referred to in the text. Interesting position that the coxes have. Low down at the front there. Just passing the Upper Thames Rowing Club on the opposite bank. I've seen so many buzzards and kites today, it's unbelievable. Particularly how the kites have made a comeback. And uh, they, as I said previously in films, they quite easily operate in the same area as the buzzard without any conflict. Because they're looking for different things, basically. A stretch of uh, deciduous woodland on my left, with uh, the omnipresent great tits prevalent amongst the songs, songsters at the moment. 
Good on Henley Regatta. Thanks for that, Axis. Very good of you. Onward journeys across this plank, literally, <laughs> and under that flint arch. Across the second arch, uh, bridge, sorry. Quite a marshy section, this bit. Because you have to stay within the boundary markers. Quite worn as well, particularly this time of year. Anyway, pleasant views on the opposite bank. Plenty of these boats, incredible. A yeah, mistletoe here. Valentine's just gone. Watching you, watching me. Through the cameras, obviously, for this place. Forley Court. Google that to find out more. Lovely position. Now entering English Nature's Temple Island Meadows SSSI. Not even sure if English Nature still exists. This board looks very old as well, so uh, they give a website down there, but I don't even know if it exists. Apparently you can find the Lodden Lily here, in season of course. Wonderful looking place, albeit the uh, background noise is a bit off-putting. Pretty impressive view ahead, I wish the Red Baron would clear off. He certainly is doing some loop-the-loops above me. I wonder if I'll catch him in a second, get up there. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty or more. Bloody Red Baron was running up the score. Wonderful, great crested greed there. pair of them as well. There you go. And just above them, well it certainly was a second ago, was a red kite. Christopher Wren designed Temple Island, built in 1771 as uh, an add-on to Forley Court. Plenty of cormorants up there in the trees. This side of the river is far better, quieter, albeit you can still hear the noise from the others over the road and these planes. Wonderful display of fighting here from, uh, or sparring I presume, from three kites. I'm not sure if I can uh, focus on any of them particularly well because of the agility of them. Let's get my glasses on. No, I can't, I can't get close to them. But uh, the sparring that's going on is incredible. Great to see. Meantime, there's a couple of uh, Canada's, I do believe. Carry on as usual. Another shot of Temple Island. Curious one uh, sided bridge, this. And look at that, absolutely outrageous. A Nero coffee cup. I mean, what is the point?
plenty of geese here. Canada's again, I believe. Don't think they're Brent. No, Canada's, I think. And more of those uh, strange Egyptian geese that I now know are. That's what they are. Seem to integrate pretty well with these cannabis. The uh, style referred to in the text is now a kissing gate, thankfully. Next to the busy A4155. Some nice views uh, on the other side of it, mind. Holden Four Estate is uh, whence we've just come. Good of them to open it up to us, really. Okay, here's the uh, busy A4155 uh, blind bend. Here's the public bridle way. Oh dear, it doesn't bode well. Marker. Uh, that's the way ahead. But it's suggested we go through this wooden gate, ignoring the uh, Obvious bridle way. Over this style. It's uh, style now redundant because the gate looks like it's kept open. Although there could be cattle here in season. Thankfully not now. And our onward journeys ahead here with the uh, hedge on the right. See the um, catkins are now dying. Another part of the season has left us. Always sad that, but there you go, life moves on. There's a rare sight, a kite on the ground. Just like, uh, when was it, two weeks ago in the Chilterns? Saw one sitting on the fence. In fact, it was last week. Lovely. Gone. Certainly made their comeback, it's incredible. Nice vista out on the right, just as I enter the wood. I think this is Hambledon Wood that I'm about to enter. Here we go. That's interesting, as I'm stood here, I'm in Buckinghamshire apparently. We've left Oxfordshire somewhere. I think the county boundary might go uh, up through the middle of this wood looking at the map. The fading white arrow on a tree mentioned in the text has faded into obscurity, but I'm assuming this uh, gentle upward climb is the way to go, because I can see a white arrow on a tree in the distance. There we go, about 50 metres on from the path junction. Take a left here, unfortunately still following the blue bridle way. And I notice from the wheel marks, someone in a disability vehicle. I think the uh, white arrow referred to in the text, point 33, could well have been on that tree there. There's no other white arrows around, no, no trees mature enough. But there's a footpath marker, again following the blue bridle way. Plenty of bird song today. Blue tits, grey tits, all coming back into song. Lovely. Well, thanks to the chalky, flinty bedrock here, it's not too bad underfoot from the horse damage. Mulch uh, isn't too deep either. Lovely bit of woodland walking this. Third week running now. As I say, or continue to say, do like a bit of woodland. Interesting, there's a blue arrow up there which I didn't notice obviously coming in the opposite direction.
that's uh, whence I've just come now on the descent lovely valley down there on my right which you wouldn't see at any other time of the year really once the tree cover returns you just miss all that flock of sheep down there beautiful monk jack up there sneaking off thinks I haven't noticed it in fact is he injured certainly quite bold oh, I don't know being very quiet and still as you do when you're a monk jack Sooner have I said that about the uh, terrain underfoot and it starts getting um, really churned up again. Further wonderful views of the valley down below. Wonder what that's there for. It's a big hole, little owl. Yeah. Anyway, we're uh, coming up to a section marked on the map called Woolies, I believe. In fact, Woolies may be making reference to that uh, rather large building down below in the valley, to be honest with you. Memories of the old uh, domestic store, the wonder of Woolworths. Fantastic view up here, very peaceful, no major roads, no air traffic and uh, plenty of bird song. can even hear a cockerel, a bit late in the day but there you go. Okay we continue along the uh, footpath where this track joins from the left. As our onward journey. See, the problem I have with horses is that they don't use the obvious rutted beaten up old track. They tend to try and use the same sections of bank that are preserved that us walkers would use and then they make that worse. So if they went down there where they should be and kept this for us then I wouldn't have so many qualms but uh, you know to get up here what is the point of putting a horse up here on the bank you know horses are made for riding on that rough stuff we have no option really okay we come out to this crossroads what a wonderful view particularly on a day like today perfect walking weather Onward journeys between these hedges down towards the White House and beyond that is the village of Hambledon which is the uh, lunch, lunchtime stop I believe. Certainly a church there where I'll be making more of a pit stop than a lunchtime stop I think. Depends what the time is. I think I'm on track at the moment. Currently at point 36 of the text. Passing through Collins Gate, past this uh, former river course, through the gate, turn left, following the Chilton Way. Okay, today's lunchtime stop is indeed at a church, first time for a few weeks. It's 3 pm, not 6, not to worry. And I'm going to take this little pew here. Dedicated to the memory of someone who sounds Italian, Jean Cambatta, died in 98. Bloody hell. 20 years ago. Thanks for that. Let's uh, 
rest my feet for a few minutes. As I say, quick pit stop. Okay, pit stop has been had. Parting view at 3.15 of uh, St Mary the Virgin Hambledon, which I have filmed before. I recall it now. I'm not going inside today because um, there seems to be quite a few people in there actually. Interesting on the old, uh, what would have been a gas lamp, Psalm 43.3. Stood under the uh, lich gate at the moment. A number of other uh, inscriptions on it as well. A better shot of the um, complete church here from the roadside. The old village pump. Opening hours for those that need to know. It's the old village post office and tea room. Past what was the old butchers and the uh, stag and huntsman with its rather um, worn sign now. Onward journeys up this hill, I believe. Some crocuses around on the uh, shaded banks, but they're on the way out. Sorry, snowdrops, but they're on the way out. Point 47 of the text we do a right here down the gravel track, turning away from uh, the house ahead called Kenrick's, leaving the lovely little hamlet of Hambledon behind. Yeah, lovely little place. Pretty muddy underfoot down this path, or track. Final views of the wood and Hambledon. As you can see, it's uh, you know, as a kite flies through the screen. It's getting greyer and chillier, as is the uh, apparent fashion at this time of year. Interesting set of teeth there. I wonder what they're from. Possibly a sheep. Seems to be a lot of them around here. Final view of Hambledon. What a lovely view that is. Would have been a bit better if the sun had been on it, but. Hey ho, it's, it's February. Wonderful views from Hamilton down its valley. I think had the sun been out it would have been against me anyway. So uh, it's a nice clear cold day today so you still get a good vista. Wonderful. Point 54 of the text, the style is now defunct. 100 metres of road walking between high hedges. Clearly marked here. Uh, directions to the weir. Plenty of uh, parakeets down here again. Settling in for the evening. An update there from the Environment Agency about uh, construction works between the 5th of March 2018 and the 9th of April 2018. trust you can see that. The uh, weir will stay open but there will be a section of scaffolding there for those that are brave enough to tackle it. Approaching Hamilton Lock which we've uh, crossed a couple of times in previous walks. A flock of parakeets up there in that tree. I presume they're called a flock.
rather impressive residence. That is indeed Hambledon Mill. Google it for further info. Not sure which section's damaged, but they're going to have a job repairing it, I'm sure. Force of that water. Some big old trees come down in recent years. Very powerful. And the old grey wagtails, I believe they are, are still in there as they used to be. In fact, they might be yellow. I can't remember which way round it is. I think the uh, yellow one's greyer than the grey, I can't remember. Anyway, I can't evidence one at the moment to uh, check. View back towards Hambledon. The left here towards Hurley. There's an easier option just to go straight right two and a half mile back to Henley. I think I'm okay for time though. Back on the uh, newly created Woking and Way again. Point 0.61 of the text. Looking back at the weir from afar. It's about four o'clock now. About an hour and 15 of daylight left. About an hour and a half, three quarters of walking time. Amazing how the evenings are stretching out. Wonderful. Moving inland now, away from the river. Point 63 at a text, and we're uh, coming into open country. Point 64 of the text refers to the Flower Pot Hotel, possible very late lunch stop or early tea stop in the village of Aston. Or rather the hamlet. Back down the valley. And a couple of noisy goats over there. Sixty-five of the text approaching Remnant Hill. Now, one thing I've noticed today, I don't think I've seen a single pylon. Unlike over in the uh, other part of the Chilterns, Risborough, where I was last week. Very interesting. I wonder why that is. No sooner have I said that, and we're following a row of mini pylons. That's all well and good, but uh, what I meant was the big transmission grid, national grid ones. Haven't seen any of those today, thankfully. Just past the large oak on the right, there's our onward path, clear as day. Glimpses of the Thames down on the right. Of woodland walking for the finale. The old song thrush is out, but not at this minute. Lovely to hear that at the end of an evening. Point 72 of the text. Certainly is a temporary kissing gate. It's not there at the moment, but uh, probably is in the sheep season, as uh, indicated by that battery there. There's the memorial referred to in the text to Minty, a dog. God rest his soul. Pleasant way to remember a dog, eh? Next to this uh, three-fingered finger post. Walking through someone's garden here. Wonderful. Thank you where I was earlier this morning, continued up that street there as those buildings block 
the onward path. River Thames just over there. Here we are back at Henley. Interesting uh, reminder of times in the past. Final glimpse up the Thames to the old uh, regatta bandstand, no doubt. What is that floating down there? Oh dear, oh dear. Blue Planet really did highlight the mess that this uh, planet is in regards to plastics. Incredible. Mended tea time stop is the chocolate calf. Here we are, five o'clock, back at Henley on Thames Station, after what turned out to be a very pleasant walk. Certainly is uh, a decent walk that one, lots of variety in it. A uh, bit of river, obviously, <laughs> woodland views. Decent walk indeed. I like the fact that it incorporates the wilder side of the uh, River Thames path, uh, even though it was quite noisy today. Would have been better filmed on a Monday or weekday, something like that. But here we are, about uh, 10 miles later. Actually, I've walked um, 9.1 miles, but I did forget to put the uh, GPS on for about 500 meters. So yeah, about nine and a half miles walk today, three and a half hours. Uh, no need to fret about night time etc because I've got back in plenty of time put a bit of a spurt on at the end but uh, no worries the evenings are drawing out thankfully now wonderful so there you go book two walk seven Henley Circular via Hambledon which is a lovely place done finally about a decade on since I bought the book let's see how the train journey home is Fingers crossed.